a simple basic DC motor at least that's what it's intended to be inspired by a very old video by shop dog Sam doesn't look anything like his it's just inspired by his I'll put a link in the video description to his old video I think it's about 14 years old I've used mouse ears just to make sure it didn't curl up on the edges thought I'd experiment with the idea I'm going to wrap the wire around that and then it will spin around there magnet down there double A battery in there I've got some uh, copper wire there stripped from some old twin and earth power cable uh, that looks about a millimeter 1.5 millimeter thickness copper so what we're going to do here I've got some nickel strip here I'll go over there then the battery will just sit in there and make contact. Then I'm going to solder onto there these bits of wire. And then the other end of them through there. And bend it into a little bit of a up and down. Something like that. We'll sort it out a bit better in a minute. And that will sit on there. And then somewhere around, I've got a magnet. Yeah, got a magnet. It will sit down there. And we'll see if it works. I don't normally make the coil like this. I'd normally use thinner wire. But because I've got this power cable, I thought I'd give it a try. So there's only three turns on there. Well, three and a half, four turns on that side, three turns on that side. So I don't know if we'll get enough magnetic force out of it. And I will need to adjust things to make it fit, which is the beauty of using this copper wire, because I can bend it anyway to get the height I want. Anyway, I'll solder that onto there, same on the other side, bend it to fit, put a battery in there and see if it works. Not quite as successful as I'd hoped. I have added nail varnish onto one side of the copper, so it only gets current flowing through it for half the cycle. But it's actually eating these batteries quite quickly. Uh, which way round do you want to put it in there? The other way, I think. Yeah, there we go. So we are working. Just not terribly impressive. <laughs> and it will stop in a minute, I think. Yeah, basically, it's, it's a full short. That's very low resistance because it's nice thick copper so the battery does actually warm up but just to force the issue <laughs> we'll stick a lipo on there People like to see lipos put on there. So, yeah, there we go. A very simple, very basic electric motor. But I wouldn't advise putting a lipo on there for any length of time. Not when you're virtually sh putting it on a short circuit. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, there we go. That's melting the wires all the way through. So that made it more fun. <laughs> yeah, very low resistance. So as I say, heating up a ordinary AA battery and setting fire to the wires on a LiPo battery. So if you're going to do this at home, take care. I would suggest using thinner wire so it's not such a low resistance. I just wanted to use that copper wire because that's what was laying on my table. Thinner wire, higher resistance, less current flow, more efficient. If you want to know why we didn't get a complete fire then, luckily, that where the conductors or where the insulation had melted, where the conductors got hot and they made contact so that we had a full short circuit there, there was enough heat to actually burn out the red conductor. If I put my meter up there and go on to there, testing for a short circuit, we've got nothing. If I go on the black conductor, You might be able to hear that. We can certainly see. Right, black wire is still um, complete, so we get a short circuit. Red wire has actually melted and burnt out, so that acted as a fuse and saved us from an interesting situation. But got a couple of scorch marks, just like Big Clive. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.